friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and you are at the home of the Forever Theater Kid and today I'm so excited! I'm finally, finally, finally bringing you my apartment tour! Yay! Oh, that's finally here. It's finally uploaded. I've been waiting to show people what my apartment is for a while now. We moved in here in mid-July. This one is very specific to the decorations that we've been doing in the fall. I've never really shopped for decorations for fall time, I've realized. So we didn't go too crazy, too over the top because, you know, just feeling it out. We tried to stay as affordable as possible and things that are quite neutral and can work for various years to come. The thing for me is I don't quite know what my style is in terms of decorating yet. We have a lot of color, a lot of texture in our apartment that you will see. So a lot of the decorations that are very seasonally specific, I tried to keep them a little bit more neutral in this video. But for Christmas, I mean, I Gabe and I have a bunch of Christmas decorations already. So we'll see what Christmas and holiday season will be like, but I'll bring you another video just specifically about our Christmas decorations. I'm just enjoying this stuff and I'll keep this up until um, until around Thanksgiving, I think, and then we'll take it down and move on to the next. Let's get into the video. Let's get into my home. Gabe's in my first real home together. We just love it. Like, there will be so many days that Gabe and I will just, like, turn to each other and go, I love our home. You ebb and you flow. There are things that you love about your apartment, and there are things that you truly, truly hate about your apartment. Mine's the stove. What are you going to do? Please subscribe to my channel, please, so you can see all this content coming at ya. Cleopatra coming at ya. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. Follow me there. See all the haps. Excuse you. But, uh, but let's get on into it. Let's start right at my front door, right where you come into the apartment. So let's get into it. YouTube magic, YouTube magic, YouTube magic. Okay, so here is the apartment. This is the entrance. Here's the door. So right here we have a little coat station where we'll put our umbrellas and our jackets. We can't fit too many. There's only so many hooks here. And also, I'm also never sure um, quite how um, sturdy this is. So Gabe tends to put a lot of his stuff on here, but I tend to like take them off. I like to just keep maybe one or two coats out, the ones that we most often use right now since it's nice and brisk in fall, but still gets a little warm. We keep our like jean jackets out here. And we just got a little welcome sign. Welcome and bienvenue. Here's our horrific, horrifically loud buzzer, but you know, Every apartment's got one. And here is our utility closet. This is actually awesome. It had a sliding door, which is actually right there. It's not the cleanest in the world, but it's not the messiest in the world. I'm working on getting better at organization. Like this, I'm tackling this today. These are papers, Marie Kondo in my life. It's horrifying, I hate it, but I have to tackle it today. So I actually looked into getting one of these macrame kind of curtains. I think it just, it's not, it's better than having it just like gaping open and also it just puts a little flare on it. It's it's a little annoying sometimes, but I, I like the way it looks. It gives like texture. You'll find that in my apartment I really like putting as much texture up and on the walls as possible because we haven't painted anything yet. Yeah, so texture is kind of the next best thing. Speaking of texture, a lot of our ceilings have this really beautiful, I don't really know what you'd call it. Some people call it like tin foil ceilings or something like that. Through most of the apartment we've got these hardwood floors, which I don't think they're, I don't think it's real hardwood, but our building is pretty old so a lot of our stuff is like very slanted and we got buses. I have to keep the windows open. It's so hot in here. They've turned on the heat. Here is our kitchen. This is Gabe's favorite area of the house. He loves to cook. Here's our quote unquote backsplash that keeps falling down. <laughs> Y'all, you know I get real here. Look, this keeps coming off the wall. I thought when it stopped being humid, it would stop coming off the wall. Alas, it keeps popping up. We have pretty good organization up here. This is where we keep like all of our Tupperware and a couple of like extra bigger things of like sugar and protein powder. Up here, I can't reach. I don't think there's anything up there. Oh, there's extra glasses and stuff up there. Microwave, which we actually don't use all that often. So this is our stove. It's so old. I really, really hate it. Nothing here is really like new appliances, so we just kind of working with what we have. It's a gas stove. That's about all I know. I had slash might still have a mouse problem, and we pulled that back, and it was super disgusting. So when you move into a new place, 
old or new, check out behind the stove just to make sure that everything is, is Gucci. Uh, down here, we keep most of our, like, our mostly worn shoes. In the winter time, I'm sure we'll put, like, our winter boots there. I think I would love if I could keep it over there, but there's just not really enough room. I don't know. It just kind of it gets in the way of the door, but we'll keep it there for now. It looks nicer. Put our oven mitts on the side over here, a little command strip. So we love a command strip. These are just most of our utensils that we use for cooking on the stove. Down in here, we've got more pots and pans and like cheese plates and cutting boards and mixing bowls. Love a tea towel. You can't get enough tea towels. Those are from Home Goods. Love it. This was on our registry. I think it's from Macy's. A lot of the stuff is on our registry, actually. Iron cast skillet, yes, gotta have one of those in your kitchen, apparently. That's what Gabe tells me. Here's our sink. It's super small, as you can see, and there's no dishwasher. Apparently, there was, there's talks we might get a dishwasher and it will probably go here. How that's gonna happen, I don't know. But yeah, so since there's no dishwasher, a lot of the times we'll put a dish dryer over there as well when we have a lot of dishes to clean. But for the most part, we use this little guy. Now, this is awesome because it expands and you can actually, it's meant to go right over your sink. But I just always got nervous that when you fill it too high that it would, oh God, that if you filled it too high that it would just kind of like collapse and everything would fall and break. And if it happened in the middle of the night, that would scare the crap out of me. This we got from Bed Bath & Beyond. It was a really good price. It fits perfectly right on this like super narrow area of countertop. And then we just got our hand soaps and our dish soap. That's dish soap in there. I'm trying to like reuse glass containers and be as sustainable as possible. I'm working on it, friends. I'm working on it. This is our oils. We use olive oil all the time and then avocado oil for things. Gabe uses it. I don't know. And down here is where we keep most of our cleaning supplies and like plastic bags that we will reuse and recycle. Not very organized and not very cute. That is why we do this beautiful thing of closing the cabinets. This is so cute, I love this. I think I got this from, uh, I think this is also from Bed Bath & Beyond. I just think it's so sweet. It's really, it's actually quite squishy. You like my pajamas? I am not wearing a bra today. And it's good because I feel like I'm always doing the dishes, especially when there's no dishwasher. I'm always doing the dishes. So it's nice to have something squishy here. And if Gabe's cooking for a long time, he'll put that over there just so like it gives them a little cushion because we're old up here is where we have all of our plates that we use on the reg honestly when you're two people living in a place you don't use that many plates all that often we use so many cups that's something we're always using we're figuring out this land life we're figuring out this adulting stuff this is our first place that we've had that's completely ours so everything here is as organized as it can be right now and we're still working on it our dish towels on the side and just some like gloves it's getting to winter and i'm getting like Crusty hands, y'all. Got some of our aprons. Yes, queen. Um, but yeah, we just keep them all right there for when we need them. We don't use them all that often, but it's nice to have them. Uh, organization. This is probably the cleanest you will ever see in my apartment. It's usually there are things like all around all the time, but that's life. Am I right? Am I right? So this kitchen dining set was actually a wonderful, incredible gift from my parents. So much of the stuff in our apartment is thrifted, uh, handed down, which I'm very, and Gabe and I are so appreciative of, because a lot of our furniture is actually really nice quality because our family was awesome and gave us pieces, and then we found some really awesome pieces on Facebook Marketplace. Y'all, I live there. I love a Facebook Marketplace. This is just a really beautiful wood circular table. You can actually put one more like leaf in the middle. We might do for like a Friendsgiving. I think it's still at my parents' house, so I might pick that up. And then these are just like some black wicker and wood chairs. I was thinking about like painting these teal or like a rose gold, but I actually just might keep them black. It's classic, and if I change my mind in the future, I won't have to paint them again. This rug, ooh, this rug I really like. I got this rug from Pier One, and it was on sale. This, I think this is their, oh, I'm bad at sizes. I feel like this was like six feet by four feet, and it was on sale, and I just felt like it fit it's neutral enough, but then has some pops of color, so different times of the year. Like, it's got a lot of autumnal colors in it. Then the purples are great for, like, summer and spring. And then you've got these deep maroon colors and more golds for, like, the winter, Christmas time. So it fits for everything. We usually always keep some reusable bags on some of the chairs, just so, like, if I don't see them, I won't remember to pick them up and to take some with me. So I usually keep one in my bag. I always keep this out 
because if I'm running anywhere like to get groceries or something I like to just have it out already so I see it and I know what's there. We have air conditioning units in almost every single room of here because this apartment in the in the summertime got so hot so and then we learned you know air conditioning can be very expensive so we don't turn them on all often we'll actually be taking them out pretty soon because the winter months are approaching this little corner i think this might be gabe one of gabe's favorite little corners in the room this little hutch is my mom's or it was my mom's and she gave it to us. We figured it was like perfect for our mugs. We got this really nice plant as a housewarming gift from Gabe's aunt, but it was so much smaller. And guys, this thing is a monster. I believe this is a spider plant. I'm obsessed with it. I don't, we need to name our plants. But see, so we've got little baby ones over here that we have to like put in some water so we can grow some more. Oh no, friend. Like, look, this one is like, this one actually could grow pretty quickly. Most of our mugs inside here, but we try to keep it as neat as possible because you can see it. Usually I have two mugs there, but they're actually being used at the moment. So I just put our little pumpkin and this Celestial Harvest pumpkin tea right there. But inside here, I keep our napkins. So our, like, our cloth napkins are in here. And then like napkin holders. I mean, do people even use napkin holders anymore? And then we've got table settings and like, I've got like a bar book and then like vases down here. That's a little fan that I put in this window from time to time. I probably should put it in right now. My mom let me have one of her like window screens, which is nice. So I'm just getting like a nice little cool breeze right now. There's our um, fire escape. Guys, we have a fire escape. There's a mouse trap because that's real life. Also, because we keep getting little mice run from here to there, but we covered up all the holes in there, so hopefully that we won't get any more mice. But we might, who knows. So here's our little display for, usually this is kind of like our bar area, but for now I've decided this is kind of gonna be our mantle for holiday decorations. So we just, we're kind of like all set up for the autumnal feel. Um, my sister gave me these candlesticks. She was gonna like just get rid of them, and I was like, please don't. And she was like, yeah, you can have them. So I took all four of them because I just thought they were really pretty. And they've got like this nice little rustic look. So I usually have all the candles on them, but like I put this little, this little pumpkin on it. And these are, most of this is from Michael's. Yeah, I think almost all of this is from Michael's. And this, I think it's from Home Goods. I love this skull. I think it's so cool. If anything, I might keep this skull out like year round. I just love it. I think it's so pretty. Got a little bit of a Hello Fall thing going on. These little tea towels are from Target. They're a weird shape though, so like, I didn't realize that when I got them. I thought I'd be able to put them there, but I wasn't, so I'm just, they're just here right now. Boo and boos, I guess. And then we've got this little leaf thing, which I think this will also work for when we go into like the Christmas holiday season. Oh, I do have to be careful though, because we do have heat coming out of this right now, and so I'm kind of always checking on these to make sure nothing's melting, to be honest with you. So I try not to put anything that's meltable. This is like made of styrofoam. So I don't know, I have to be careful because this gets rather warm, so, and things will melt. This place is like an oven already, I'm not gonna lie. I'm. It's not even 50 degrees outside and they turned on the heat like full force, it's awful. And then this, oh gosh, we've had this, I've had this forever, but we finally just kind of put some new updated pictures. We put a couple ship pictures some Polaroids of Gabe and I. Honestly, like this place is like a shrine to Gabe and I because those are really the only pictures we have. Now we've got like this section. This is the fridge and the trash. This is, this is our system right now for recycling. We've got a nice spice rack. I had this in my old apartment, but I spray painted it like it's rose gold. And so now it just fits in more with our style. Gabe's got all of his spices up there that he uses every single day. Like, I'm always at the coffee maker. I make coffee every single day, that's what I do. This is our, I showed this in my last apartment tour when we were in New York. This is a decanter for whiskey, so when we get into those winter months, we're gonna definitely have, keep that baby full. And then this is where we keep all of our keys, and I keep my wallet, and Gabe keeps his wallet in there too, but he's not home right now. It's like a catch-all, we always know where our stuff's gonna be, and if it's not there, that means it's lost. Our like Ziploc station, this area, this area, down here has more towels. I actually just organized this the other day, so it's decent. Oh, but it's so squeaky. I hate it. It sounds so gross. So these are our knives that were on our registry. Gabe loves the knife. They're beautiful. This, this was a candle from Anthropology, but now I keep it, you know, it completely used up, so now I keep like my sugar and stuff in there. 
love it. This is our coffee, white sugar or brown sugar is in here, and then tea is in here. We got our little honey. I think that's so cute. I feel like Pooh Bear. Splenda Zero. I have never used this, but my mom gave it to me. This is our tea maker. I feel like I may have talked about this before. This is like my favorite red wine right now. This is called Smooth Operator. It's from Australia. I am a little biased because I just love, like that is so cute. Gabe and I got this when we went up to Harvest Moon Pumpkin Patch a couple weeks ago. And it's like spiced wine and we're gonna warm it up when it's nice and wintry out. Maybe on a snow day that we have. This is the most amazing blender ever. We got this as a wedding gift and we kind of totally forgot we got it until we moved in here. It does individual servings, which is awesome. So like I might even make myself a smoothie today. It's just the best blender ever. Gabe's made soup in this. We've got individual smoothie things that you can make in it. It's amazing. So speaking of going down into here, this is where we keep our pots and pans and big bowls. Now this is my one of my favorite areas. This is where we keep snacks. So for the most part, like cooking things are up there. We've got some like hot chocolate that's up there as well. But then like we'll keep crackers and granola and Snacky snacks, and you know, we gotta have it. Apple cider vinegar, singer, singer, singers. So, yep, yeah, that's that. Nothing too special up there. These four little pieces are actually works of art from Gabe's friend from Ships, and he really just he had them forever and just wanted to like put them somewhere. So, he put them on the side of the fridge because it just made the side of the fridge like look a little happier. Honestly, this fridge is usually a lot more full of paperwork, but I've taken all the paperwork down because that means I'm going to work on it today. Gabe actually keeps like, okay, so I don't really know why but he does he understands he keeps like his garlic and his onions in paper bags up here that are breathable so that's something he does why he does it not quite sure uh, we've got some like cookies up here we've got bread we've got a banana which I actually might eat this banana so I'm gonna put it down um, and then some baskets up here for storage. We need to utilize this space more. So I think when it comes to Christmas time, I'm gonna put like a garland up there. I don't know, just thinking about it. So that's the kitchen. Next, we're gonna go into the bathroom since it's right here. All right, I turned on some lights and now here we are. Here's the bathroom. So, fun story here, I'm gonna be completely transparent. This is simply here for show. <laughs> um, our landlord was trying to get rid of these. They still work, they're in perfect working condition. The washer and dryer and like it's little like cubby. It's so freaking adorable. I love the way it looks in here and it fits perfectly. It doesn't work in our space. We don't have anything to connect it to. Honestly, I honestly kept it here just so I could include it in the, the tour. I just think it's really cute. Got another window just just to say we've got so many windows in our apartment one of like three real plants that we have here three or four and this is just like look at her thrive oh again gotta name her um this shelf was used in my new york apartment so if you remember that old old tour from when i was living with uh another person i i had this there but i've re spray painted i spray painted it like a rose gold it's a little rough it's a little rusty Stick, but yeah, this is one of the spider plants that we actually repotted and it was like from one of the little stems and look at her grow like bit of a green thumb over here me and Gabe it's not the worst and honestly keeping plants in the bathroom I mean you get moisture you get sunlight but also get a little bit of fertilizer so here we just keep I try to keep this like not that it's not decorative or not that it's not for storage but it's also Decorative I, I want to keep it as light as possible like not heavy with shit like my old apartments did because it just makes the room feel heavy And I want this room to feel as light as possible So we've got a couple prints that I got in Australia Down here that I can finally use this is some of our bath bombs I haven't used like anything bath wise yet So I'm excited to finally use them now that our bathtub is fixed and then like our toilet papers down there in this cute little container so fun story about the reason why I decorated this place when I first came here I'll show you a little video clip that I have it just was not cute and I figured if if the bathroom is gonna be this pink tile with this like grayish green gotta lean into it so we got like tropical stuff Stuff. Uh, these, this is from the Lauren uh, Lauren Conrad edition and it fits really well these were my mother-in-law got them the day we moved in and I think she got them from like a dollar store they're little shell shower curtain rods and they're really cute I, 
because I'm keeping them. This has needed to be fixed for months and it still has not been fixed, but hey, living our truth. And also these little carpets, these two little carpets are also from the Lauren Conrad collection for the bath. I just think it's really sweet. I love this print. It keeps the room nice and light and it's cloth. So like if it does get moldy, it can be washed. Here is our vanity. Same here, we've kept like a little bit of like a flamingo feel, not too much, just subtle enough. I think this is actually a planter, so I might even, I might even get a different thing one day and put like a little plant in there. I think that'd be really cute. Our hand soap glass. And we've got, oh, uh, these I live by. This, these are from Target, for, they're from the $3 section, but it's actually only $1. And they're perfect, they're just, they look pretty, they look cute, but, they hold so much stuff and they fit perfectly in here. So we put like razors and and face stuff and flossers, which needs to be recycled. And um, just like any kind of small tool that like wouldn't have a place to go, it goes in there. I'm trying my best to stay as organized as possible now that I'm on land because that's a thing. Um, you gotta have some baby wipes because pooping, everybody poops. But these are the worst, so don't ever buy them. I live for my squatty potty. I, I swear by it. I die by it. It's amazing. This print is from Home Goods. I love this so much. Hand painted. It's from that, those like collections at Home Goods and Marshalls where they are um, real art. They are like hand painted. And they're really, really cute. Like it's just, it's kind of like a bit of a shadow box. And look at the little flamingos. I just think it's so sweet. So here's the shower. It's a nice big shower. The shower caddy is also from Home Goods. Um, it's like a nice rose gold copper color, so it fits really well in here. Just like a loofah, our bath stuff. But the coolest part about this area, and I'm standing on the tub right now, is this storage area. Can we just? So it goes back really, really far. And so I have used or tried, I'm still getting used to like what to use this space for, but this is basically like extras of everything. So extra face products, lotions are all in here. So like all of my necessities are down below. We keep extra towels in here and uh, wipes. I got these at Home Goods because they were $2 each and they're usually much more than that. So I was like, I stocked up on like face, face wipes for the gym and everything. This goes back pretty far. So I could even put more in here and this is quite flimsy, so I can't keep anything too heavy up here, but that also goes back. Oh, there's something else back there. So that's the bathroom. Moving on to the living room. Now we probably spend the most of our time in this space. So we wanted it to feel as cozy and as homey as possible. This carpet, I will start here. This is from Target. I was looking at this carpet over and over and over again, and I finally got it. Gabe was like, we just gotta get it. You love the carpet and it's so fluffy and comfortable so you can sit on it and it's nice and nice and cushy. It's perfect. I just love the colors in it. We've got a radiator back there so it's quite warmer right now. Right up here we've got, I've had this for so long. I'm so happy it's finally up on the wall. It's this like bull skull, it's fake, but it's got like succulents on top of it and I think it's really, really sweet. And then this was from our it was a wedding gift. A family friend of Gabe's or painted this for us. Gabe's parents also have one. And it's, um, I think it's like a, a roof tile from a church, maybe Gabe's church that he grew up in. So it's really, really sentimental and beautiful. And Gabe actually hung this up together and it looks so nice. He did such a great job at helping me decorate this apartment. Like it really wasn't a just me thing. Like he really helped and it was wonderful. These I just put up yesterday. I'll put a little clip in. I finally put up pictures from the wedding, finally. So that's why it's kind of like a shrine to us in here right now. But we haven't had pictures from the wedding in two years since we got married, so it's about freaking time. So this chair is amazing. I wasn't sure if I was gonna love it as much as I do, but I truly love it. It's from Facebook Marketplace. I got it for literally maybe 30 bucks. It's one of these rattan swivel chairs. It's a rocking chair, it's super comfy. The cushion it came with smelled awful and it was not cute and it actually ripped at the moment I sat on it. I put two of these big pillows that I've had since my bridal shower and then with that pillow, so cute, I am unable. It is so adorable. One story, these are containers that have Poshmark stuff so if you want to buy anything from my Poshmark I am selling a crap ton of stuff right now, so please go get my Poshmark, buy my Poshmark stuff. So I just put this really pretty scarf that I had on top of it and just like a picture frame and some little fake banana leaves in this in this um, 
this face that I've literally had forever, maybe seven years now. I always keep my light right here. It's kind of out of the way. It's kind of bulky. It's kind of there. It's fine. Here's our bookshelf. Another one of Gabe's favorite spots because this bookshelf is from his house and his family. So it holds a lot of memories for him. It's really pretty because it's got this leaf detailing. So even though it's white, it still like fits with the room so well because it's got this like bohemian feel to it. We've got some of our favorite books after we like Marie kondo everything. These are the books that we still have. So we've got all of our Harry Potters. This is like a combined of our collection. I love a fake plant. I love dangly plants. I just like anything like dangly plant I live for. But this is a real aloe plant. I am so proud of this. Look how much it's growing. It's so cute. Again, have to name it. Friends, please tell me down below. I need help naming my plants. I've got this one. I've got this one down here. Don't know what kind of a tree it is, but it's a tree. And then we've got the one in the bathroom, and then we've got, or the two in the bathroom, and then we've got one right here. So please help me name my plants. Tell me down below. I would love some names. Even if you got names for my skulls or my fig plants, I'll take it. That is from Home Goods. I love it. It just adds some texture to the wall. Another picture of Gabe and I, and that one's from our honeymoon. This is Gabe's. This is from, I guess he went to a concert. Bring the noise, bring the funk. I'm not sure if that's the name of the band. If it's not, I'll write it down below. This is from actually my haul from the uh, Broadway Flea, and I wasn't going to keep it here, but it actually fits just fine, so I haven't moved it yet. Here's my desk area, and this is my office. So I am at this every single day, friends. So I've got a little view outside, which is nice. I've got some air coming in here. But this is my desk. This desk is also from Facebook Marketplace. I got it for like, I think $45. This chair, oh, I live for this chair. I was dying for a peacock chair, but they're all so expensive. But I found this one on Facebook Marketplace in like a big bundle of stuff that Gabe and I wanted, and it was just... It was the best investment ever. Like, oh, I love you. Again, don't have a name. Penelope. And on this shelf, I just keep mainly like pencils and pens and then like decorative stuff that can give me inspiration. Stuff we just closed cabaret yesterday, two days ago. So these are just some like little pictures from cabaret. And then Suze, one of our castmates, one of our Kit Kat Club members made me this and it's just beautiful origami butterfly that Z made for us and these have like all words on it that remind Z of me and so I was just like I was like oh, I need to keep that there and this was made by Jacob my castmate that played um opposite me we played some evil characters but he made me this and it's beautiful I love it this is just a little guy this is fake um from I think it was from home sense I just I couldn't it was so cute love it this light, I've had it forever, no idea where it's from. That printer, with, oh mess. This is my little station that has all my sheet music and paper and headshots and my book that's in here. This is my audition book, hi face. This I got at my bridal shower. And then this is my friend Jerry got us this. I showed this in my part in my cabin tour. This is from Pier One. This is another one of those prints from Australia. I just think it's so sweet and pretty. So I'm so happy that they're finally up and not in just a bin. These are just cute little wall hangings. I would love to get more macrame kind of stuff like this. This is from I think LA. It's either LA or Miami. I'm not sure. But I got this on cruise ships. And then these I think are from like a papyrus type of thing and I think I got these in Portland. Because these bays, which are beautiful, I love them. Oh, falling backwards, gonna die. Um, but sometimes it's like a little bleak just to have nothing on them. I've got like my goals and stuff like that for the week and work-wise, but so it's nice to have something, a little bit of texture on the walls. Speaking of texture on the walls, that is a carpet. It didn't look good on the ground, but I thought it would look freaking cool on the wall and I think it really does. It adds an awesome texture. I love texture. Texture is like what makes a room pop. You don't have to spend so much money to have really cool pieces in your space. So much of this is thrifted or really affordable buys that I found. I'm really trying to be smart about how I decorate our apartment, saving money and, but also like keeping that cool feel. I wanna do like a series I think on here about like home decor for affordable living because y'all, that's life and we all are living it. And also like brand new things like it's sustainable for the, the earth. So I'm trying my best to like buy used because it, it helps the earth and it helps my wallet. Couch is actually also from mm, 
Facebook Marketplace. It was literally like a ten dollar couch, but then like the moving things to bring it here was not ten dollars, so it became a little bit more expensive. It's not great. It's from Walmart, but it will do for now. I would love to get like a blue like velvet couch there. That's like my dream. But for now, this will do. Or even a light gray. I'd love a light gray even. This little cute little doodad that is from Home Goods. I'm kicking myself that I didn't also get the white one. My mom was like, "Do you want this?" I was like, "Oh yeah," but I was having a panic attack that day, so I was just like, "Oh my god, just get one." So. Just that one. But I wish I also got the white one because it's really cute. This is from Pier 1. And so is that blanket. That blanket's also from Pier 1. They were on sale. Check the Pier 1 sale section. They are always dope. They're amazing. This little bad boy is from Home Goods. I've had it forever. You've seen these in so many videos. This is a little fake plant from Home Sense. Again, on clearance, on sale. This is a chest that Gabe was like, ooh, what if we turn this into a side table? So that's just more storage. But this is really cool because it's like a trunk and it's got all these pictures on it of like places to travel in the world. So it's very us and like kind of like our life. Like it's got pictures like Australian Airways and um, I think this is an Indonesian. It's very us and how we've traveled the world. Gabe saw this and really wanted it and we got it from just our local thrift shop. This big old basket, clearance from freaking Home Goods. Can we just? I really wanted one of these wicker baskets, but they're just like. I kept seeing them, and they're always really expensive. So I was like, it's a wicker basket. Why is it so expensive? I'm trying to do that blogger thing of like, just like casually throwing a blanket in there. How do you casually throw a blanket in and make it look cute? And then we just got some of our workout stuff. My big tripod is in there. We've got, I've got another blanket in there and more workout stuff. This is really awesome storage. This I want to say is also from Pier 1. This is really old. I had this when I was living with my parents. We've got just like different bits and bobs in here. We've got like candle stuff in here and like change more craft kind of stuff. I don't know, just random stuff. Like these are all super random. Like that one's completely empty. <laughs> Down here we've got more storage. Wow, Emily, not doing great today. So that's stuff from a giveaway that Hopefully, by the time you've seen this, it's already been sent out. Giveaway for Broadway Flea, so I'm keeping it there. Uh, these, I'm selling these on eBay. They're just like old Barbie dolls that have never been opened. We've got like wires in here, batteries, lights. I feel like this storage compartment is like the bits and bobs. If you saw my last apartment tour, this was from our wedding. It's from Bath and Body Works. So up here, uh, I really love this look of having baskets on the wall. I would have never thought that, but I do. A little stitch. So these are all from either a Goodwill. Yeah, these are all from Goodwill, all thrifted. And that was actually on the side of the road and I picked it up. Don't pay a lot of money for baskets. Just go to your Goodwill and find them there. This is a scratch away map of the world. So this is basically all the places Gabe and I have traveled. Gabe's mom got it for us for Christmas and it's just like, it's really cool. So we can just keep on the wall all the places we've gone. We thought that we traveled a lot of the world and there's so much more to see. I just blew out this candle, but I realized I didn't mention, I'm inserting this a little later, this coffee table is from Facebook Marketplace, but it looks like it was like could have been from like a home goods or a world market type of spot. Coffee table books under here. This is from, I think again, a home goods or a Target. And then this pretty skull, I think, is also from Home Goods. Does it sound bad? TJ Maxx. Maxinista. Kind of spookies. Gabe's guitar. This, I love this wall. I think this is really cute. It's simple but easy. These, I had these in my first New York apartment tour. They're from Target. They've still lasted and look really nice still, so we put a little pumpkin here. I found this the other day, and it's a pumpkin with a succulent. Like, how freaking cute can you get? This is a card Gabe got for his birthday, and I was like, that's the perfect card for fall, so we're keeping it out. This little elephant, he's from Bali. I just thought that was so cute. I just want, we want to just keep our adventures out and about as much as possible, and I really like that. Keep it cozy. Thank you, Michaels. Will do. These are some of like my favorite books to look at. <laughs> I haven't read them all in a while. This is a little diary. This is, uh, you're doing freaking great. It's like inspirational quotes, and this is Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. Up here, this is some garland from Christmas. This has proven to like work well for any occasion, so I keep it up here. I think it's really sweet. And then that was a wedding gift uh, from one of Gabe's aunts. So it's got our initials. So it's nice to just bring things up onto the walls because we've got relatively high ceilings. And last but not least, here is the bedroom. Ooh, bedroom. This bedroom's huge. I'm going to say it outright. It's gigantic. We really lucked out with this space. Like, it's the first day and the only day we were looking at apartments. This was the last of all the places we were going to look. We were going to take it because it looked too old, looked like too much like work. And then 10 minutes later, we were obsessed with it and we were like, we need that apartment. Our space, like it looks really big and 
very beautiful right now. It's very clean, so so we'll start with the bed. Why not? So this whole section, honestly, all Facebook Marketplace. I kid you not. We got, that is actually from Wayfair, the bed frame. It was one on Wayfair that I really, really love. At first I wanted a queen size. This is a full size bed, but I'm really happy now that we have the full size because it's fine for the space that we need. And also like now we've just got room in the room for it to like feel airy and light as possible. And also if we move out of here ever, it's not guaranteed that we'll find a room where we can fit a queen size bed, but a full size bed will almost always fit. I got this from Facebook Marketplace in like a big bundle. Remember when I said there was a bundle for the peacock chair? This was also included. Now, the bed frame, the mattress, which was only used for like a studio space, and then, and then the bedding, the carpet, this big ass carpet, and then a couple of the curtains that are in some of the walls. And all that was like less than $400. If you ever wanted to just buy one mattress, it would be over $500. So we got such an awesome deal. Like just such an awesome deal. I feel like so cheap in this video. Friends, it's real. Find your deals. It's real. Find your deal. These are two of our handsome Hampson sons. There's Pua and there's Clifford. It's bedding. A couple of the pillows are from Home Goods. Actually, I think all of them are from Home Goods. Sheets, Target. I believe this is also from Target. Um, I'm probably going to switch this out for our gray one that we have soon, but I thought I'll. I'm just kind of transferring this into like once it's winter I'll turn over to the gray one because it fits better with like our winter pillows and stuff like that. I love our like little wall. This Let's Snuggle, this is from an antique shop out by my parents. I saw it and I was just in love with it. If I can find the name of the people that made it I'll list it down below. But these three little dream catchers are actually from a store called Altered State. They're kind of like anthropology. They always have really beautiful displays and this was on their wall and I was like I really love those and I was able to buy three for like 15 or something like that so if you are go to a store that like you love their art displays ask them if you can buy them because usually they'll just throw them out those are two wedding pictures up there that we just love I finally framed them and put them up yesterday specifically for this video to get my butt move in I love it fairy lights up here because it's so nice for filming these I think are on their way out though I love this leaning shelf. This is from Facebook Marketplace. You can find these so many places, but Facebook Marketplace always has these. I love the way it looks. I love our little pumpkin with stars and moons on it. I love everything. It This this makes me happy. Like, this little section makes me so happy. It just has some of our favorite items that spark joy and make us happy. We've got pictures down here. Gabe's decorations from my birthday party on ships. So I've kept a couple of them, so I kept them up here. We get a lot of light. It's so wonderful. Oh, pajamas, stitch pajamas. This full life beautiful mirror is from HomeSense. This carpet is also five below, like the other one that was on the wall. This carpet is gnarly. I hate this carpet. So we tried to cover it up with as many carpets in here as possible to like get a Moroccan kind of feel. This is from Home Goods. This was on clearance. It's a little bubbly, but it works for us. We just, it's just kind of here for show. Ottoman has a couple of blankets inside, but it's covered with a blanket from actually our last ship. That kind of stuff in there. I don't, it's just there. Let's go here. So this is our hot display. These are actually from our wedding. They had all people's names and their tables and where they sat, but now Gabe made it into this beautiful hat display because we both have a lot of hats. We wanted to put them out in a cool way and we figured this wasn't going to work as a back, uh, as a headboard like I originally planned. So Gabe made hat displays. It's so cool. They're just little hooks that he drilled in. And now we can put both of our hats there. He's got one and I've got one. I don't know where some of his hats went. Another really hot radiator, so I'm staying away. This is my makeup stand and where I get ready in the morning. So I've got all my makeup and brushes up here. Hair accessories are here. And then just like extra belts and accessories are down there. My lashes are all the way in the back. And from here down, it's just we've got like various things. Both Gabe and I share this space. And these are like my everyday things. I've got multiple deodorants. Don't really know why, but I just do. Our wedding bands go here. For the most part, this is my makeup. It's a little unorganized right now. So, because I just closed a show the other day, so I'm reorganizing glasses. Another thing to like kind of reorganize. Oh God. This little mirror, this is also from a thrift shop that's near us, so hi. This is the night sky that I gave Gabe for our wedding. I showed it in our last tour. Moving over here, so Gabe. <laughs> Funny enough, Gabe has actually claimed the closet for himself. I don't really know how we agreed upon that, but, but this is his closet. <laughs> it's very deep, it's, so it actually has a lot of space. It has a lot of storage going up, so we have a lot of stuff up there. I keep all my shoes on this door. 
This is just one of this is from HomeSense. It's like 32, quote unquote, 32 pairs of shoes. I have fit as many as humanly possible on it, so we'll see if it breaks. Those kinds of things, I never know how long they're gonna last. Let me keep some bags and robes on the back of the door right here. So I keep so many of my clothes in here. Gabe has like one drawer in this, but it's mainly mine. And then like my hanging stuff and shoes and other stuff is out here. So I have no idea how long this is gonna last. I got this from Bed Bath & Beyond. It looks like it's starting to cave in, so I'm crossing my fingers that it just lasts me through the winter at least. We'll see, because I just put all my winter clothes out, but like I keep like sports bras and socks out here. We've got some chunky sweaters back there, sweatshirts. My purses are down here. I've got scarves here. My laundry's here. Gabe's actually out doing his laundry now, so his laundry's usually right there. This is all my jewelry. Since paring it down, this is all the jewelry I own, which is really nice. And we actually got these, um, these lifters for our bed so that we could store as much under here as possible. So we've got our suitcases, we've got more wintry, and now my summer stuff is in there. Honestly, Gabe can take the closet because I need everywhere else for my clothes. And friends, that's, that's the apartment. That's it. You saw it. Back to Emily who's doing the intro and the outro of this video. I'm sure it's fabulous. YouTube magic, YouTube magic, YouTube magic. That is it. Thank you for watching my apartment tour. Gabe's in my first real home. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you enjoyed all the fall um, decorations and the accoutrement and everything that makes our home homey and cozy for this fall harvest. And in this video, a lot of spooky season. A little late, classic Emily. But please make sure that you give this video a big old thumbs up. Comment down below, what, you, what was your favorite part of the apartment? I think my favorite part of the apartment, I really love my desk area, but then I really love our bedroom. There's something about our room that just feels really cozy, like I love this shelf so much, and I feel like it's just cool that I can decorate it any which way I want, so I love it. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more ways on like how ship living and ship apartments and other apartment tours that I've had, I'll list all my other apartment tours here. And then right up here, I think I'm just going to list some... Um covers. I think I'm going to list some covers up here because those need a little love. So bye friends. I'll see you over there in one of those videos.